Now, this is a very different take on Tarzan. Why did you approach it in this particular way? I think one of the most powerful things you can do with an audience is to set them up to think that they're getting one thing that they're familiar with and then subvert it completely. And so we have uh, the Tarzan that you expect would be an origin story. And instead, this Tarzan is a man that's repressed his past and is embarrassed about it and in a way has to um, go home find what, what the best parts of himself were and synthesize it into the man he is in the present. And, and I think if you put those things together, um, there's something for an audience that they're not expecting at all that really becomes a very special film and a, and a, and a very special kind of Tarzan. And I, and I also think by, by plugging all of the Tarzan mythology into true history, um, you get to tell a, a, a fascinating uh, historical story that that there was no other way to tell, really, and 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 that to me is is a and I think for everybody involved in this is one of the the major reasons why we kind of tried to reinvent it in a way, but make sure that every Burroughs fan got the moments that they wanted, but maybe instead of the first Jungle Swing. Um, it's 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 happening for a reason of getting on a train and so you go and then you get it and it's sort of holding back in a way and then giving it to to those fans but but making sure that anyone who isn't even familiar with the character has something they can fall in love with mm -hmm. and, and yeah. there's a few new characters in this all new to yeah, me anyway yeah. so can you tell us a bit about Samuel L. Jackson's character and his yeah George Washington Williams um, is uh, Dr. George Washington Williams is, he led one of the most interesting lives of anyone I've ever come across in research. Um, he was a, uh, he, he was a, uh, uh, work, like got his doctorate at the seminary and then um, was a politician and a statesman and he was a mercenary in, uh, in Mexico and he also fought as a very young man in the Civil War um, and he was the man that actually coined the terms uh, crimes against humanity for what he saw in the Congo and, and he was pretty much the first person um, that that went down there and realized what was going on and it, and, and sort of began to draw the, the world's attention onto what was um, a, a, an absolute horrible atrocity. And, and so when you start with a character like that and then you bring in a legendary actor like Sam Jackson to play him, it's perfect because he just, he has the gravitas just when you see him on screen to understand that this is, um, this is a guy that could have done that. Um, and also that this is a guy that can make it fun. Um, and that's such a hard thing to find someone that can can be soulful and powerful and 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 step into the shoes of a, a true American hero, uh, and at the same time take you on a wild adventure where you fall in love with a guy and he makes you laugh 25 times. Um, so he was he's he's perfect. Were you apprehensive at all about including that humor and the adventure element of it in, uh, with so many real life events or real life stories in the background? Can you say that again? Were you apprehensive about combining the two, the comedy that you mentioned and the... Yeah, I think we, we decided really early on that um, there were two ways to tell a story like this, and one would be the way that, um, that, that, that the very dark, actual, true history of it and, and reach a very small audience. Um, and the other way to do it would be to tell the epic, wild, super adventure and then for, you know, if you if you spend all week um, working your tail off, like we all do, and then Friday night you just want to go on a thrill ride and you want to be be moved and feel feel the adventure and the spectacle, um, it, it, and, and, and it feels to me like, and I feel, felt to everybody on this thing, that um, that we, we, we wanted to make sure that you had a great time at this movie and then you might Google what actually happened. Excellent. Finally, uh, can I just ask you about yeah. the, the take on Jane as well? A unique take again on a beloved character. What what is so special about your take on Jane? Um, I well, she's a force of nature character, and then the original mythology that's that's not quite as accurate. Um, it's just not interesting to anybody anymore to to have a damsel in distress, um, and and so her character from the start is uh, the absolute driving force of of. Um, uh, John Clayton's uh, happiness, and 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 the, and and it's there's a partnership there um, that's that's not that's far more contemporary, I think, than what you would normally see in these movies. And 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 she really is someone that's on the hunt for. She's be out of love for her husband. She's living in a land that she doesn't love, away from her family. Um, and I definitely think that that's something. You know that we really wanted to feature. There's there's a community um, that that 
you know, a, a lot of people have, have lost um, by, by being away from a lot of people that we love all the time. So there's a, a, a power in the search for home and coming home and, and finding yourself there and, and realizing that that's where your family should be. Thank you so much, man. Yeah, Pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you. Cheers. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey You Guys, huh? Hey you guys, Is that yeah. from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey!